All right, guys, here we go. College football rundown, just like last week. Going to cover all 50 games from Friday, October 25th through Saturday, October 26th. Going to dive right in. 115 Louisville, 116 Boston College. Have Louisville laying 7.5, the total at 53.5. Now, Louisville, they've lost three of their last four. Boston College lost two straight. Schedule for Louisville has been rough. Uh, they still do have a positive uh, edge on the season in yards per play margin. Having said that, this is a short week for them. Laying more than a touchdown on the road does feel like a stretch. Going to lean with Boston College there at plus seven and a half. Let's get to the next game. 195 Boise State, 196 UNLV. Boise State laying three and a half, total at 64 and a half. Big game here for two teams that have impressed. Boise 5-1 on the season, UNLV are 6-1. and one. Feel that the market's higher on UNLV based on the fact that they have a 5-2 and two ATS performance. But Boise, you know, they've got the mental and confidence edge here after last year's 44-20 to 20 beatdown in the Mountain West Championship. I lean Boise here at minus 3, minus 120, which is available at some bo- uh, sports books if you shop around. Uh, 117 Rutgers, 118 USC. USC laying 14 here with the total sitting at 56.5. I'm going to be able to provide a breakdown on this one as I do have a premium selection going. It's worth letting you all know, though, that there is a free $60 account you can activate if you click that link down below in the description. That free $60 you can use towards any of the handicappers' picks for free, no obligation. Essentially, you can get my premium selections, including the play on this one, absolutely free just by clicking that link down below in the description. But let's move on. 125 North Carolina, 126 Virginia. Virginia laying minus four here at home. The total at 59. UNC coming off a much-needed buy after losing four straight. UVA coming into this one off back-to-back losses, but managed to cover both. Uh, In fact, UVA, they've covered in four straight now. This line open five has come down a little bit. I agree with the move based on some trends and the fact that UNC haven't covered a spread in forever. The market's adjusting far beyond the norm here, and we'll look to take advantage. Therefore, we will be going with North Carolina. Um, next game, 133 Georgia Tech, 134 Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech laying 10, total at 52. Do have a weather system which takes into account wind, temperature, and humidity, along with some other factors. It's been highly profitable over the course of a massive sample size with a 60% success rate to the under when it pops up. We have that here in this one. Going to grab the under at 52.5, which is available at some spots. 135 Buffalo, 136 Ohio. Ohio laying 6.5 with a total at 45.5. Both these teams coming off losses, but Buffalo have shown the ability to cover spreads more often. They have the better offense in terms of explosive ability as well. My numbers show small value on Buffalo here at plus 6.5. Going to leave that there. Move on to the next game at neutral ground. 151 Notre Dame, 152 Navy. Uh, it's at MetLife Stadium, Notre Dame, laying 13, total at 51. I like the under here. Navy's offense has looked outstanding under their new offensive uh, offensive coordinator. Uh, Blake Horvath has been highly reliable at quarterback. However, they're starting to be overvalued, and Notre Dame do have an elite defense, which is allowing less than 12 points per game this season. Navy haven't been tested like this, and it's not even been close, so value on the under here at 51. 159 Washington, 160 Indiana. Indiana laying six and a half with the total at 54. We'll also not be providing a pick for this one. I do have a four unit premium selection. And as mentioned, you can use the free $60, which is available by clicking the link in the description. For any new customers, there is no obligation to use that free $60 and you can utilize it to get my picks absolutely free. So be sure to click that link. Now, 169 Oklahoma, 170 Ole Miss. Ole Miss laying 20, total at 49. Man, this Oklahoma offense has been putrid. They scored 15 versus Tennessee, then 3 versus Texas a couple weeks ago. Then they followed that with 9 versus South Carolina. They just also fired Seth Luttrell as an offensive coordinator. Ole Miss ranked first in yards per play margin and yards per game margin. They come into this one after losing two of their last three. Big spot for them to take out some frustration at home. And I think they get it done, willing to lay the minus 20 with them here. 173 Tulane, 174 North Texas. Tulane laying 7.5 on the road, total at 67. Not sure how we don't bet the over here based on UNT style of play. They have an unbelievable offense, but also have zero interest in playing defense. They've gone over the total in five straight games now, an average combined score of 78.8 points per game. Over for me. 177 Charlotte, 178 Memphis. Memphis laying 17.5, the total at 57.5. Charlotte coming off her 51-7 loss to Navy despite outgaining them, which is 
just wild. They turned the ball over five times. Could have been six if they recovered. If they didn't recover that one fumble, Memphis have won three straight, six and one on the season. The fact that they're four and three against the spread is actually good for us in this spot, as I do lean with them. The market isn't making too many adjustments based on that. Money has come in on Charlotte a little, but I can't get behind this team and their inconsistencies. Give me Memphis here at 17 and a half. 209 Nebraska, 210 Ohio State. Ohio State laying 25 and a half at home. Big number, total 48 and a half. I really like the under here based on the way Nebraska got smoked last week. They should be motivated to put up, uh, put up a better defensive effort here and put that right. Now, they're not going to be any match for Ohio State. But we, we do have the same weather system at play here, as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to take the value on the under at 48 and a half. 183 Arkansas, 184 Mississippi State. Arkansas laying six and a half on the road, total at 57. Man, how about Mississippi State covering the three straight versus some elite competition? They had covers versus Texas, Georgia, and now AM. However, they are still one and six on the season. They can't win games. Um but it's tough with the schedule they play, but that, that kind of strength of schedule, that will beat you up and beat you into the ground. Arkansas have some big wins on their resume this season, but enter this one off a disappointing performance versus LSU. They're 3-0 ATS on the road this season. I lean with them here below a touchdown at 6.5. One three seven Georgia State, one three eight Appalachian State. Appalachian State laying 7 here, total at 60. App State have barely played any home games this season. There was, I think, due to the hurricane or flooding or something. Um, the... The crowd should be into this one. They'll be rested coming off a bye. Georgia State have not looked good as of late. Value on Appalachian State here at minus seven. 143 Central Michigan, 144 Miami, Ohio. You have Miami, Ohio here laying 12 and a half, total at 47 and a half. Kind of feel like Miami, Ohio being over- overvalued after winning three of their last four. They've covered three straight, but this isn't a team built to cover big numbers. I mean, see the game against UMass uh, as an example for that, where they barely squeezed out a winner's 15 and a half point favorites. Central Michigan fit the conference road dogs uh, trend I follow too with a below average total. Uh, CMU at plus 12 and a half will be the lean. 145 Temple, 146 East Carolina. East Carolina laying seven and a half at home, total at 49. UCA coming, uh, UC, ECU coming into this game after firing their head coach. However, the lost four of their last five have more talent than their current numbers and performance shows. They've covered the spread in four of seven games, though, but laying more than a touchdown here with all the drama is a little far. Value for me on Temple, especially considering how they've been playing as of late. Uh, they've covered four of their last five. Next game, 1-1-9 Bowling Green, 1-2-0 Toledo. Toledo laying two and a half, total at 49 and a half. Hard to make a read on this one with the unknown surrounding the Toledo quarterback. Tucker Gleason, Toledo managed to get the win without him last week. But we don't trust that to be something that continues. The money has been coming in on the over. I disagree with it. And plus, we have that weather system I pointed out uh, earlier towards the under in this one, uh, which is where we lean at the current market price with our numbers as well. So we're going to lean to the under at 49 and a half. 123 BYU, 124 UCF. UCF laying one and a half total at 54 and a half. We'll also not be providing a pick for this one as I do have a full unit premium selection. And as mentioned, free $60 down in the description below. Click that link. There is no obligation to use that free $60 and you can utilize it to get any of my picks absolutely free. Next game, 127 Eastern Michigan, 128 Akron. Eastern Michigan laying a field goal on the road, total at 51. Akron came into this game off a bye, which is usually going to be a favorable spot. However, my numbers and ratings like Eastern Michigan here. They should be riding high as well after the big win and cover last week versus Central Michigan. They also covered in six of, uh, of seven this season. Usually I'd look to fade a team uh, in that spot in terms of a market high, but i got to trust my numbers and I show value on them here at minus three. 129 Southern Miss, 130 James Madison. James Madison laying 24 total at 54 and a half. Hard to get behind this James Madison team now after losing twice in the last three weeks as double-digit favorites. They have the potential to deck any inferior team, of course, but can they be trusted right now? Hard to really lean either way, but Southern Miss is so damn awful. Uh, don't love it. I'll lay the 24 with James Maddy here. 131 Northern Illinois, 132 Ball State. Northern Illinois at laying 11, total at 47.5. NIU somehow continue to outgain opponents, but... They continue to lose games. They haven't been able to score, but maybe that changes here against one of the worst defenses in the nation. Having said that, I like the under based on my numbers and the trusted weather system I continue to mention. They're going to take the under 47 and a half. 
139 Kent State, 140 Western Michigan. Western Michigan laying 17 total at 60. I like the dog here for the simple reason that both teams have awful defenses. We all know how bad Kent State's defense is, but Western Michigan also rank 127th in yards per game allowed um, at more than 450. It's a big number to cover for a team that can't get stops. Uh, dog value at plus 17. 149 Rice, 150 Connecticut. Yukon laying six and a half total at 47. Rice has played the tougher strength of schedule. They have the same yard per play margin as UConn. They're also coming off losses last week that look worse on paper as they as they were. They they, they were minus five in turnover differential. Uh, that would do it. Connecticut do have the obvious advantage here though of travel as they haven't had to play much on the road and this will be their fifth straight home game still. I'm going to lean with Rice here at plus six and a half. Now 157 Maryland, 158 Minnesota. Minnesota minus four and a half here, total at 46 and a half. Minnesota are off a bye. Maryland could be emotionally drained here, um, especially after the come from behind win last week versus USC. Minnesota have, the be have been the better team on the season. And although I would love this number lower, the lean is going to be on mini at minus four and a half. Now, 161 Texas Tech, 162 TCU. TCU laying six here, total at 66. I'm all about the under here. The numbers like it. We have a ton of trends supporting it. I don't have much else to add. I'm completely on the market when it comes to the spread, but I make the true total closer to 62. We're going to grab the under here at 66. 171 Oklahoma State, 172 Baylor. Baylor laying six and a half, total at 64 and a half. This opened with Baylor as four and a half point favorites, but it's been an influx of money on them ever since. This did test seven at some uh, sharp spots, was taken down immediately, which is interesting. Obviously, Oklahoma State quarterback Garrett Rangel, Rangel is out for the season. Baylor coming into this off a blowout upset win over Texas Tech. Markets overvaluing Baylor a little bit in this spot. Maybe I'm salty on them still after they screwed me uh, versus BYU uh, with probably the worst half of football I've ever witnessed. However, I'm going to take Oklahoma State here at plus six and a half. Now, 175 Missouri, 176 Alabama. Alabama minus 17, total at 51. This is another game I'll not be covering. I do have a full unit premium here. As mentioned earlier, click that link down below in the description for a free $60 account. You can use that free $60 for any of the handicappers picks at Doc Sports, and you can get this one absolutely free. No obligation, free $60 new member account. 185 UTSA, 186 Tulsa. UTSA laying eight total at 53. I lean UTSA here despite being above a touchdown. Look, Tulsa couldn't do anything versus an awful Temple team last week. I have no idea how they can keep within single digits here versus this undervalued UTSA team that are better than their record indicates. Now, 203 Wake Forest, 204 Stanford. Wake Forest laying three, total at 52 and a half. This is a back to back travel spot for them, but Stanford are falling apart. Uh, they've lost four straight, both straight up and ATS. They failed to score more than 10 points in three straight games now. To their credit, they've played a tough strength of schedule, but that can also put you out of gas. So I lean with Wake here at minus three. Uh, 207 Northwestern, 208 Iowa. We have Iowa laying 14, total at 38. Lots of trends working in favor of Northwestern here. Historic data shows the lower the total, the harder it is to cover numbers in this. And this is particularly true when it comes to double digit favorites. Both teams can play defense, and while Northwestern have a horrible offense, I'm not sure Iowa can be trusted to win consistently by more than two touchdowns. Slow tempo teams here. I'm going to lean with Northwestern at plus 14. 211 Illinois, 212 Oregon. Oregon laying 21.5 total at 54.5. Another weather system which shows value on the under. Really, it's the only way to go with this one as I made Oregon a 21-point favorite. But you won't catch me taking Illinois with the points here either. Just no interest in the side. Going to take the value on the under. 197 Oregon State, 198 California. California laying 10. Total at 49 and a half. That's my dog there, uh, ruining the, st the stream. Uh, I like California here. They're undervalued, and despite being three and four in the season, could easily be five and two or even six and one. They, it's a team that leave many points off the board due to some absolutely horrific field goal kicking. Oregon State haven't played a tough strength of schedule, and like Cali, and this is a decent step up in competition. I understand them uh, as double digit favorites here. I'm happy to get involved as well at minus 10. Now, 179 Texas, 180 Vanderbilt. We have Texas laying 18 on the road with a total at 51 and a half. And this is another game I do have a premium selection on, which can be accessed at Doc Sports. As mentioned, as always, the link in the description, free $60 account. If you're not already a member of Doc Sports, go and get that free $60. You can use it to get my picks absolutely free. 
Now, 163 UL Monroe, 164 South Alabama. South Alabama laying seven total at 46. Got to lean with UL Monroe here. They run the slowest tempo in the nation when adjusting for opponent. It's hard to beat a team running that style uh, by any type of margin, especially considering their defense has been fairly solid. Plenty of key trends and markets pointing towards ULM here as well. Plus seven is going to be the lean. Now, 189 New Mexico, 190 Colorado State. Colorado State laying five and a half with a total at 62 and a half. I really don't have much to add on this one, unfortunately, as I make the lines completely accurate. They fall right where my numbers are. Therefore, therefore we are going to have to move on. Now, 121 Florida State, 122 Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida laying 21 total at 54.5. Man, hard to get in front of this hurricane train. They're 7-0 straight up, can score like no other. They've generally been overvalued, though, which is the reason for their average 4-3 and three record ATS. They also allow too many points in general. Having said that, FSU are such a mess, so I'm going to leave with Miami, Florida here at minus 21, but it is small. 153 Troy, 154 Arkansas State. Arkansas State laying 7.5 here, total at 51.5. Trends love Troy, but their quarterback is now out for the season, and I have issues uh, with their backup as well. For the reason I'm going to have to pass on the trends, I don't love the 7.5 either. Likely the only value that remains here would be at the under 51.5. Now, 167, we have Utah, 168, Houston. Utah laying 3.5, total at 37. Honestly, I don't want any part of either of these teams. Both has a bit, Both have abysmal offensive schemes, especially Houston. I make the line accurate, but I do believe the total is a little low based on public perception. I'm going to try and take advantage of that. Lean over here at 37. Now, 191 Utah State, 192 Wyoming. Utah State laying a point, total at 57.5. This line actually flipped as Wyoming with a chalk earlier in the week. I don't disagree with the move. Uh, Wyoming are an awful minus two in yards per play margin on the season. It's about as bad as it gets. Utah State have also played the toughest strength of schedule. Utah State at minus one is going to be the lean. Now, 193 West Virginia, 194 Arizona. Arizona laying three and a half here, total at 51 and a half. We have to keep an eye on the injury report. Uh, Garrett Green being listed as questionable. Hard to give anything out until we know more uh, there. So for now, we're just going to have to pass on this one. 155 Michigan State, 156 Michigan. Michigan laying five and a half, total at 39. This is all about numbers for me and my numbers and trends as well, like Michigan State on the road at anything above four. We're getting five and a half here, which is more than good. I know Sharps that took down the plus sixes earlier in the week, so that's a solid confirmation as well. I'm going to take Michigan State here at plus five and a half. 165 LSU, 166 Texas A&M. Texas A&M length one and a half, total at 54 and a half. All the early money has been on LSU, but i got to believe there is some market overreaction happening here after they rattled off three straight against the spread, including the beatdown last week at Arkansas. A&M have not been doing great in terms of covering the spread, but they continue to win games. I think the opening number of three was accurate here. So naturally show value at minus one and a half on Texas A&M. Now 205 Penn State, 206 Wisconsin. Another game I cannot cover. I do have my six unit college football best bet this week going on this one. Been cashing those big plays. And as always, you can get it absolutely free. If you click the link below, access that new free $60 member account. Definitely do not want to miss out on this one. Now 147 Auburn. 148 Kentucky. Kentucky laying two and a half here, total at 44. I feel UK being undervalued after losing multiple times as a favorite this season. I believe it's now three games I've lost as a favorite, two, two or three. Anyway, I make the line three. There's small value at two and a half. Don't love it though. I know plenty of sharp guys who like the Auburn side, but my numbers show a little bit of value at the minus two and a half. 141 SMU, 142 Duke. SMU laying 11 and a half here, total at 48 and a half. Both teams are 6-1 and one on the season, but SMU have been the real deal. Duke have benefited from some positive turnover variants, uh, especially in recent weeks. SMU have dominated the box score, though. This isn't the best travel spot for them, but I still believe there's some value to be had below minus 13. There's also some trends that show value on SMU side as well. So we can take SMU minus 11.5. 181 Kansas, 182 Kansas State. Kansas State laying 10, total at 55.5. Hate to do it to you guys, but numbers are exactly on point here, so I'm going to have to pass. If we get some line movement, it may open things up, but you guys can make decisions based on that, knowing where my numbers are. 201 San Jose State, 202 Fresno State. Fresno State laying 4.5, total at 55.5. We're seeing a ton of people take the San Jose State side, and I completely disagree. All the surface numbers for them do look better, granted. 
but the strength of schedule has been far tougher for Fresno State, and that has to be taken into account. It's the reason they're laying chalk here. Um, includes being on the road in three of the last four. For me, value on Fresno State are four and a half. 187 Cincinnati, 188 Colorado. Colorado laying six and a half total at 57. This open at minus four, a lot of money coming on a cut in, in on Colorado. Not hard to see why after their performance last week, smoking Arizona. That's five straight covers for this team. Cincinnati, though, they've covered five straight as well, or four and oh with a push, depending on which lines used. I lean with Cincinnati uh, here as everyone is starting to fall in love with Colorado again. Uh, not sure this big line move is warranted. 199 Washington State, 200 San Diego State, Washington State laying 14, total at 56 and a half. We have a trend that loves Washington State at minus 14. We're seeing some sharp books shift to 14 and a half. So not much else to add there if you can go and grab that 14 now before it moves up because I think that's where this thing's heading. And the final game, 213 Nevada, 214 Hawaii. Hawaii laying one and a half points at home versus Nevada here. Got to keep our eye on the uh, Nevada quarterback listed as questionable. That is the reason for the line move towards Hawaii at this time. Hard to give much based, uh, like a lean based on that quarterback situation. But I will say this. If Brendan Lewis plays, try snag Nevada on the money line as a dog before it moves back. And that's going to be my lean. So that's all 50 plays for you guys. I hope you appreciate this video. If you do, please hit the thumbs up, like the video, comment your thoughts down below. Keeps me doing these and I'll keep these coming week to week. As always, guys, premium picks are available at DocSports.com. I hope you find use in these videos and I'll be back soon. This is August Young with DocSports.com and I'll see you guys next time.